Yo, what's going on guys? It's another uh, another outdoor lifestyle adventure and it's uh, it's bright. The goal is to uh, get some miles in on the mountains and the growth is in, so I don't know how many sheds I'm gonna find, but I just wanted to get out and about. First, let's um, need one of these, so. Is that better? Can you guys, whoa, whoa, look at that, dropping everything. So I gotta put an ND filter on this. This is what helps when you're outside, keeps things nice and in focus. Look at, I found someone to come with me. <laughs> Mr. Guys. Johnny Oh, Clary, right there. He said, I think I can keep up to you, so uh, let's go. The goal was to hit that right there, but our time is kind of limited, and uh, we're just trying to negotiate which way to hit it up. We're gonna actually go up a different peak that's 700 feet lower than Baldy, and see what we can find, get ready for that one, and then in about two weeks, we'll go, we'll go and hit that one up. So let's, uh, let's get ready, I guess, right? Tick prevention, even though we're gonna spray up, it's good to uh, seal up the bottoms so they don't go up and find your special areas. This stuff's gonna be your best friend. Make sure you put it on like cologne when you're going to the powwows. But this will help kind of keep them from wanting to grab onto you and latching on, so we don't like latchers. You, you get my back, I'll get your back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, are we ready? It's gonna be fun. Let's see what we see, if we see anything cool this time. Rings of the sea. What kind of car is it? I don't know, it's not That's cool. A car in the middle of nowhere. Somebody on the res came back here just to come drinking and broke their car down right there. We're like far. Like even though we're on a road, it's like a road that goes to nowhere. So you can I, it's a good sign because there's been activity out here, but look, you can see elk tracks going straight down, like. Look. Right there. So there are elk wintering here. Just don't know if they're male or female, and I have not yet been able to find an actual elk shed. One day, you will see me find one, or he will probably find one before me. <laughs> Beginner's luck. Huh? Beginner's luck. <laughs> I've been working my ass off and this guy comes in. Look, there's one right here. Yeah. This is the hard. This is the hard stuff. He's about like five feet behind me and my feet are still over his head. Like this is like four. Look at that. But hey, that's what it's about. Exploring new country. He's never done it, so he's feeling it. He's like, he's like I can feel my heartbeat. Whoo. Spartan race training. Exactly, Spartan race training. Spartans are good, Spartan like The sprints and the, those little ones are like kind of easy. It's the beast, the big ones. That, a lot of Spartan races, if you do decide to take them, they, uh, a lot of it's grip strength. You just gotta be able to do monkey bars and hang on to stuff. And of course run through mud, but they don't have anything like this, like this steep. And it's insane that elk can run across this, no problem. Oh, but getting ready. Start early for 2020 elk season because I drew my tags for 2020 elk season. Hey, actually, let's uh, fix this up. I want to uh, show you guys this. I have my envelope from fishing game. I told you guys I put in for my state tags and oh, these are my lottery state tags, my permit tags for the, the, the area that I was going for. I want to stick this little clip in the video while I'm editing the video, but uh, this is it. I just need to sign it, keep it with me and be in the in the unit that we want to be in. And uh, I'm excited because it's the first time I've ever put in for draw tags and uh, and I got it. So we'll see, you, you just keep following and, and we'll see if I can actually get one. It'd be great, one day I will. This is a step closer. Okay, back to the video. Tags, my archery tag for the unit I was going for. So now I'm just getting ready because those hills are much bigger than these hills.
there's three elk right there. One of them is a bull. Man, that's so cool. Off season, seeing a bull. Do the other ones have horns? Yep. Which ones? How many have horns? All three of them. All three bulls. That's so wicked. I'll try and get some footage like closer up. But the wind, the wind's going that way, so they'll probably smell us. Two of them are like a little smaller, but the bottom one, he's already like he's grown in, he's big. They're just up there, up on the hill right there. That's so cool. I'm so excited. That means there is elk in here. around up and over so they don't smell us and see if I can get a shot of them closer so you can see the velvet and that one that has a nice big rack okay let's go so it could be mountain lions or bears they're chewing this up catch I always got to be watching all right, brack, brack, brack time. Brack time is over. Break time's over. My hat flew away because it got really windy. Those bulls have not come out, so they're probably sitting on the other side, just bedded down. I thought I seen something over there. It kind of looks like a shed, but it could just be a stick. But we're gonna go check it out, and then we're gonna turn around and head back, because fortunately, his knee's a little sore, and the last thing I want to do is push an injury or any kind of soreness further than what it is. It just makes up for worse in the long run. So we're gonna go check that check that out and then circle back and follow the ridge line all the way back down. Not going back the same way. Let's go. Here you go dude, your first sacred Indian feather. <laughs> sacred pickup. Go ahead, grab your first feather. There you go. Okay. Oh there you go. It's a raven. Oh. A uh hole. <laughs> so that is a predominant bull elk used trail like it's even used now like it's all tore up look see so they're coming through here there's a trail here trail there look at this fresh trail right here look. poop see look fresh 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 so those bulls that we've seen most likely came right through here. It's the stuff I love, where nobody goes. So we were glassing from over there. And it looks like it's just a stick. But it, it stood out. It was like really white. We got to where we want to go, but right there, right there is where those bulls were. And we were that rock. See that rock right there? And those bulls just grazed across and went in there. But that one bull was big. If he was already growing that much, it's pretty cool. But we're in places that like most people don't like going because unfortunately a lot of people in Rocky Boy when they hunt, you know, not all of them, but you know, a good portion, um, they drive the roads and they park at the top of ridges and uh, they call from there. And then they just, if they get an animal, they'll normally just drive in and put it in their truck. Which is a way of life. Yes, don't get me wrong. It absolutely is. If you need to harvest meat, it's a way of hunting. But uh, I really want to feel what it's like to go places where the elk are. You know, the places that you can't bring a quad. You can't bring a truck. Um, you know, just hiking in here was hot. It was hard. Like, he, he knows. He realizes how hard it was just to get in here. And we're not even that high, we're just far away from everybody. And if I could get an animal here and then pack it out piece by piece, being about three miles from our vehicles, bring one leg out, come back, get another leg, do that. That's the kind of hunting that I want to do. That's the kind of hunting I feel is just, is just going to be most fulfilling. What your body can do, what your limits are, and just to be around where those animals are. And I know that those bulls are right there, so they wintered here. So my theories, and how much research I did on the areas and Google Earth and Onyx Maps, 
I, I figured if there was any wintering bulls, this is where they'd be. And then I asked the local game warden. He, he said he'd kind of seen a few in the area, which is the next two ridges over. But uh, now I know that there is actually wintering bulls. So head back. All right, let's make our way out of here. So going, following those bull tracks back, three bulls, you can smell them like right away. But there's your one bed. Two beds. Okay. And you can just smell them like really good. So you know this is where they're wintering. Third one right here. Right there. Three beds. There's another one down there. They're here. Found you. Even though I'm not hunting here. <laughs> I got my tag for steak. I'm excited for that. Okay. What's up guys? Because it's like super windy, I'm gonna try and get the drone up into the air. But, uh, I just don't wanna lose it. <laughs> we'll see what happens. My new Mavic Air 2, it's down there and we're gonna try and get a shot of it flying from behind us, go over and out towards Baldy. This is how I carry it straps to this elastic and I carry it with me when I walk as I go through these areas. I normally have trekking poles with me, but I left them at home. And then I make sure I have my pack and it's full of everything. That way I got some weight. My body gets used to carrying the pack. This is the lighter, my lighter Vortex uh, Bino harness. It just has some small pockets, lip stuff, carries my cell phone. And whatever it doesn't have all the other things I need for like uh, my rangefinder and my elk calls and stuff like that I don't need them here so I just carry this it's lighter and it's just easy for a quick day day trips people have asked how do you carry your camera with you and that's how right there Whoa. so heading down heading back to the vehicles now flew a little drone drone action for you guys but this is like, these are like nice rub. I don't know if you're like any me, but I like to get excited about getting rubbed. But like, check this, this is a good one. Like, like he tore this up. Like he really tore it up. Really good, like busted up branches and everything. Like, tore it to shreds. Those are always great to find. So, you know, like I know that the bulls are in here. And then when they come in winter, you can tell where they're hanging out and not a lot of people come through here. So, so far so good. Let's keep going. We kind of hit a spot where there's a lot of deadfall, like these old trees tear up and fall. And that's like really hard to walk through. You got to climb over and climb under. And it kind of just goes along this whole ridge, like, but we're going to try and head down here. It's a little less, so trying to, Find the easiest route for this guy's leg. I don't want to get it any more sore than it is, so just keep zigzagging and make our way down. You doing all right? Oh yeah. There's some kibbles right there. I left you some kibbles, They're extra energy. <laughs> so we can try and go through there or we can try and go through there. It's kind of the only two options we have, but this is not going to be fun. Deadfall sucks so much. Do your best to stay away from it just because it drains so much energy and it's so difficult to maneuver through it. Up and over and under and blah. All right, which way? That way or that way? That way. Okay, that's the way we're going. <laughs> okay. Your turn. I don't even know if I need this stick to be. <laughs> Come 
left. Yeah, I would just come over because we're going to go that way. This looks crazy. I'm not going through there. That looks better and then just free through the trees. Hey, here's your stick. Told you this stuff is not easy, man. This stuff will destroy your face. Yeah. We made it. That ant hill has grown into the log. The whole log is full of ants scurrying around. And those ones don't feel good when you get bit. All that for a beautiful shot for you. So if you guys have seen the video I made about worst elk shed hunter, this is uh, I guess number two because I found no elk sheds, but I did find elk. I was right there on that ridge right there. So ultimately the goal was to go up that one. If you can see, I was gonna walk up, go up there. I was gonna glass this side of the hill, but because it's so much snow, as you can tell, I can't get up there. So there's that clip of all the snow where I originally wanted to go, that's where I'm at right now. And yes, it would be definitely full of snow. So walking back, we found the road and you gotta check this, I've never seen this. That's really cool looking, like look at this. A beaver has chopped up sections of the wood all the way down. Isn't that cool? I've never seen that. So, now I have. Holy this damn deer just jumped. Scared the shit out of me. There's shit all over there. That freaked me out. I went right for the gun. Pew, pew, pew. And we made it. Home. Home. Did you die? No, I'm good. I'm good. He's my knee started hurting a little bit, but my mine too. My IT bands are a little tight. Then again, I didn't stretch prior to this, which was bad. I could have nutritionized it a little better, but I needed that. Let's see uh, what the Onyx says for mileage. So Onyx says we did 4.5 miles. It took us four hours and 38 minutes. I liked it, yeah. and we saw three elk, and a deer scared the shit out of me. <laughs> so. When's the next time we're going? Uh, I don't know. Never. He's gonna try out the M and P. There's really nothing to shoot at. Don't recommend shooting trees. Just shoot in that direction. It's good. I like it. <laughs> Pop off two, quick. Boom, boom. It really, really rings the ears. My ears just like. I just seen some bucks bedded down. Fresh antlers. There they are. I'm gonna turn around and I'll show you. Hi. Did you keep guarding the house? Yeah? Kept the house good? Alright. I am home. Home skis and it smells really, really good in here because somebody made dumplings. <gasps> is this how you made them right here? Mm -hmm. Look, it's her bamboo steamer. She made dumplings. Dumplings! Just like in the movies. <gasps> oh my God. Do you just eat it? Yeah. I just eat it? <gasps> just eat it. She's no. Is it so good? Oh. It's everything I could have possibly imagined. Mm. So good. This is good. Incredible. What a way to end my day. Time to eat.